bad about you behind your back. Today, guests can put their two-faced friends and say, you call yourself my friend, you're nothing but a backstabbing bitch. Sometimes someone you think is your friend may be playing by a different set of rules. Just ask Angela. She says she thought Darcel was her friend. But then she found out that Darcel was spreading lies about her and dogging her behind her back. She says every time she confronted Darcel about being two-faced, Darcel denied it. She says she's here today to find out exactly why Darcel backstabbed her. Angela, you say she spread some lies about you? What were some of these lies? Um, one of the lies was um, we went to beauty school together. You know, time we would add hair to our hair, whatever. And, you know, one of the girls in the school asked me, you know, is that your hair? And I said, yeah, you know, whether I bought it, if it's on my head or in my hair, it's mine. <laughs> you know, so I said, yeah, it's mine. Good answer. So, um, you know, so when I'm, I confronted her with it, and she was like, no, no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that, so I left it at that. So then another time when, you know, I recently moved, she's telling people that I got evicted, which I did not get evicted. You know, New York City houses called for me. So it was my opportunity to not pay no light and gas, so I ran for it. She's telling people that I got evicted. Then the major one that really, really pissed me off was that she saw my son fall. I introduced her to him. She told him that um, things that I was doing with another guy, she told him that, that I was going away with the guy, and at the time I didn't have a babysitter, so I was going to take the baby with me. She saw him downtown, and she told him these things, you know, and I'm like, what made her go to him and tell him this? You know what I'm saying? She supposed to have been my friend. Then she also saying uh, um, that um, she think my son is not my son. And I'm like, why? You know, I'm trying to figure out. And then you're saying this girl is supposed to be one of your best friends. Yes. I went to meet you. I know her for like four to five years. And she's telling people that my son is not my son. And I'm like, do I have to show you the stitches that I got cut open for him? <laughs> Because I want to ask her, why is she spreading these things about me? You know what I'm saying? I want, I want to ask her too. Yes, me too. Bring out here. All right, here she comes. Come on out. Yeah. Come on out. She is too fainted. I be, you know, me and her know each other for like four years or whatever. And me and her, you know, we do here. She come to my house, I come to my house or whatever. This particular night, I went to her house and, you know, it got late. So I was like, no, I'm not going to go home. I'm going to stay here and I'm going to leave in the morning. I get up in the morning. I said, well, let me call my house and see if uh, I got any messages or whatever. Somebody called me and hear them. She on the phone with some girl talking about this bitch been in my house two weeks. Ate up all my food and everything. <laughs> One night, I asked her to spend the night. She comes to my house, 8 in the morning, leave 8 at night. You might as well say she went in my house the whole week. She came the whole week, Monday through Friday. But then why would you ask me to come to your house and then say you don't want me there? And if Listen. that was the case, then why did you tell me that? Why you were talking on the phone about me? All right, well, then you got off the phone, it was like, oh, I ain't going to lose the weight. You want something to eat? Well, you should have been listening. If I ain't going to offer me something to eat. You First of all, you shouldn't have been listening. And if I ask you, if I invite you over to my house one time, don't overdo your welcome coming every day. Oh, Monday morning, what you coming to get a meal? <laughs> Lies. Did you, in fact, tell people that she was evicted from her apartment? Yeah. Why did you tell people I was evicted? You told me. You said, from the house I was sitting, the apartment that you just left,
like you told me, oh, I'm going to stay at the department until um, my security went out. But I got to leave before the mayor going to find out that I'm not going to That's a lie. Yes, That's you a did. lie. Yes, New York City Housing called for me, and I took the opportunity to move on my own, okay? She, put it like this, when I was moving and I let her know I was moving, she was asking me, can she have the apartment? Because my lease was not up yet. So she was like, can, you, can I have the apartment? I said, well, first of all, what we have to do is we have to go put you on the lease. That way, if anything should happen, you in there, and they can't take you off because you're on the lease. All right, well, whether or not the, the lie that, that ch ch her son is not her son. I'm so close to so what? No, 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 So no, what? No, no. I have never seen one like that. I have never seen one like that. Okay. Okay. here we've separated them a little bit and you guys have agreed to behave yourselves because you all know we don't do that here do we <laughs> angela i'll start with you what do you want to say to darcel i want to know why was she saying what she was saying and what did you get out of saying it you know what i'm saying it's live all of it is live was that your high to, to say some lies you, know, huh? you better feel like watching your back when you walk out the door. Oh, what you think? I'm so scared of you? Yeah, well. You better watch your back. You have to be scared of me. As I said, listen, I mean, you guys used to be friends. Darcel, do you no longer want to be friends with Angela? I ain't going to beef with her. You got no beef with her? No, you do admit I got beef with her. I, I would imagine so. I mean, you, you agreed that you've lied about her and say, you know, because. Everything when I asked her, she was not saying no. When I asked her, it was no. No, I want to do that. You my friend. Nah, nah, nah. She violated so when she went to the baby toilet. It's violated. a tip and tattoo. Me and you can go up and down this roller coaster all day, darling. Well, hey. She knew, she knew that me and him was on Rocky Road. She just added some more bumps to the road. So then he told you what I said, but he didn't tell you what he told me. Wait a minute. Well, is, that, is, that is that because Darcy said well, you, you want you? him for yourself? I got a man. I don't need her man, her baby father. Why, why would you be? With her? Then why would you be provoking the conflict with her and her man? What is that your business? He asked me. Okay, I was outside one day shopping the door, whatever. He asked me, "What's up with Angela? How come every time I call her, she always hangs up the phone and she don't want to talk to me?" I asked her, "Can I see my son?" She'd be like, "No." She got a man. She don't want to be bothered with you no more. He said, "Well, I'm but isn't that her?" Decision to tell me that? If she, if she saw that if he was treating me bad or something like that, she's supposed to be my friend. She should have came to me and be like, yo, you should leave him. You know, I don't like the way he's treating you. Get somebody up. She should have came to me and gave me her opinion. And then I could have told him whatever I wanted to tell him. No, she took it upon herself to confront him. Even if he did ask her, she should have been like, well, you got to ask her. All right. Call her. Yes, ma'am. I have two questions. <clears throat> don't you have a life? I mean... Stay out yes, of her I got a life. I got a life. Do you have a life? I have a life. Sit down. I have a life. Sit down. Right. Sit down. Right. Look at oh, you. You act like you're all bad, but you're not. You're so jealous of her, it's not even funny. Please, I'm not jealous of her. Yeah, okay. Whatever. But let's let's go back a couple of years, guys. Let's go back and just, you guys at one time were very good friends. You went to beauty school together. Yeah. Is there any way that you could ever go back to that friendship? No. Darcel? So, I mean, you're through. So she you violated. Mean? Once it hit the baby's father, she violated. She be calling me all the time, telling me how, oh, he did this today, he did that. If you don't want me to say nothing, why call me? But you should have called me. Whatever you have to say. He told me the next time he see you in the street, he gonna run up in your ass. What you gonna do then? Anyway. If you didn't like the way what was going on, you should have came to me. You were supposed to be my friend. You should have... You should have voiced your opinion to me. You shouldn't have went to him. You should have came to me. Yes, ma'am. What do you have to say? Angela? Friends like her, you don't need. I know. I know. And another thing. Angela, if your son calls you Angela, as long as you know that's your son, right, hey, he will tell you that's not my business. Yes, sir. Now, Darcel, that must be your homegirl. You claim not to be jealous of her. 
for buying you time on business. Because if you look in the mirror, I'll be jealous too if I was you. on the stage here to be insulted, so I apologize for that man's comment. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Meet Jennifer. She says Susan was her best friend, but she hasn't seen Susan in a year now because she found out that Susan was telling people she was a slut and a bitch. She says she was shocked when she found this out. She couldn't believe it. Is that true? Yes, it is. How did you hear this? Um, my husband was the one that ended up telling me. He heard it from one of his close friends that was also friends with Susan. And I just found out about it a couple months ago. So this woman was supposed to be your friend, and you found out that she was backstabbing you? Uh-huh. So what do you want to say to her today? I just want to know why. I mean, we were so close. We did everything together. It was more common than not to see us together. If we were apart, it was, you know, we, there was something wrong. Obviously. We were always together. And then when I find this out, you know. Is there anything else she said about you behind your back? Um, yeah. She said that I was telling lies about things that have happened in my past, that I made it all up for attention from my husband, which I didn't need his attention. I mean, I had it. We were obviously engaged. So are you ready to confront this woman? Uh-huh. Are you ready for her to confront this woman? <laughs> Susan, come on out. <laughs> Well, Jennifer, what do you want to say to Susan? I just want to know why. I was shocked when I found out that I was even accusing you of this stuff. I had no clue what was going on. I thought things were fine between us. I know that we've been separated since high school, but that's because we live our own lives. You know, you're married, you have a family, I'm getting married. I work, you know, I live my own life. That's why we're not friends. I mean, we're friends still, but that's why we're not as close as we were. So, Susan, what are you saying? You never said these things about No, I, I didn't even know until today that I said this stuff. I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm actually shocked. The only way I can think about it is that somebody else, a third party, has been telling you this stuff because I've heard through other people that she has. And I, the reason I haven't confronted Jennifer about it is because I'm not going to play those high school games. It's stupid. It's like a big soap opera thing. Do you believe her? Well, there's a third party that you were talking about, and she actually is the one who is supporting Jennifer here today. Do you want to meet her and hear what she has to say? Yeah. Me too. Ginger, come on out here. Yeah. Hello, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. So, Ginger, what's your side of things? Well, Susan's lying because when I first met Susan, uh, I didn't... I wasn't friends with Jennifer. I had only met Jennifer one time. And when I met Jen when I met Susan, she had a photo album of herself. Susan is was really heavy and she had an operation and she lost a lot of weight. And she became a different person. And that's when her and Jennifer kind of moved apart. But then Susan and you know was friends with other people and she was still friends with Jennifer. That's when I met her. She had a photo album and I saw Jennifer's picture. Jennifer was going out with a really good, her husband, which was I, I am a really good friend of. 
we've been friends for like six years. So get to the slut part. Okay. When I saw when I saw the picture of Jennifer with Susan, I said, "Who is this?" And she said, "Oh, this is my friend." So I started fishing for information. She said, "Oh, well, you know, things that, things that happened to Jennifer's past." Susan said, "Oh, well, she lies about this. She's kind of flirtatious, and she leads guys on, and you know, she does, you know, she goes out and she drinks, and she, you know, gets drunk, and she makes up stuff." So in that turn, I went and I told John, Jennifer's husband. John was just like, you know, well, I don't, you know, that's not Jennifer, you know, why, you know, I don't think so. That just doesn't sound like Jennifer. So I was like, okay, fine, I left it at that. So that was, that was pretty much about it, you know. Susan said, you know, Jennifer was a bitch and everything. So that so was... So Susan, it. did you say that she was a bitch? No, not to my knowledge. I mean, no, not at all. I, that's kind of like saying I don't recall, huh? No, I, I don't. Honestly, I don't, I didn't, I've never said that. You know, Jennifer and I did a lot of things. Like she said, not to see us together was odd, you know. So do you think you're being set up here today? Actually, I think I am because I feel that, I don't know why Ginger's saying this stuff about me. I live my own life. She lives miles away from me, but she knows everything about me. I don't know anything. A few months, a few months ago. It seems like you know a lot, Ginger. Yes, you do. I talked to this friend. She told me of all the stuff about Susan. That Susan was living with a friend. You know, everything we found out. All the, you know, she told me. What business is it with yours? It was where I was living in the first place. It's none. No, I found out. Thank you. So and Jennifer, who Ginger. are you to believe? I mean, it seems kind of fishy. It seems to me like maybe Ginger does something, has something against Susan. Don't hate me. I don't, hate I don't hate Susan. I've never why hated Susan. You, I want to hear why Ginger would make stuff up. They almost broke my marriage up. I never said it, Jennifer. I, I didn't know that we were well, What would I get out of to tell her husband, husband this? I'm sorry. It, just, it makes me wonder. I'm hearing one side of one story and one from another. And my marriage got almost broke up because of this. And I didn't know nothing about it because I live my own life. I do my own thing. I haven't talked to this Jennifer happened years. back in 92. And what this is when this happened. Now, Ginger. Because Nothing. this is when I told John. She's the one that called the show, not me, Susan. <laughs> but, uh, but what is... I mean, Jennifer, do you... I mean, you really didn't find out a reason why because Susan says she never said anything. Do you believe her? I don't know who to believe anymore. You should believe your husband. I don't know why. What does Ginger have to gain by making stuff up? Why does she have to lie to me? Ginger, Ginger, what did you have to gain by telling her husband this information? Nothing. I, when Susan told me this stuff, I had a mental picture of Jennifer in my head. We didn't know each other at the time. Ginger, we met like one time. So I told Don all this stuff. I said, well, she goes out and gets drunk, and she may be cheating on me. That's why I told her. She's not. She's not. Yes, what do you want to say to Susan? Susan, I think that you're really into, this is more you than anything, okay? And I think that you're lacking something because you're in everybody else's business. But that's not what I'm up here to say. Oh, you're talking about Ginger. You're talking about Ginger. Yeah, Ginger. Well, get it straight. <laughs> no, Ginger doesn't belong there because Ginger's bringing the drama in a sense. Okay, no, wait a second. You don't about her ex-roommate. I asked her, you know, I called to confront her on some things that another well, what is it your job? Just listen, just listen. And she said, there's no way I could have found out this information because she told, Susan told this to Jennifer. And she said, there's no way that I could have found this out because she, that her best friend would not have told me that. All right, yes, sir. Did you have feelings for her husband when you knew him no, before we, at no. all? Just, just, I see a motivation. <laughs> Bitch, Ginger's the backstabbing bitch. Mom, thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I have a comment. If you were supposed to be friends with the husband and with I can't think of her name with her, with Jennifer, you should have went to Jennifer first because you were hurting I your friend. I didn't know Jennifer. I wasn't friends. Wait, you said out to hurt the husband. That's why I didn't go to Jennifer. That's why I went to John because I was friends with John.
John. I've been friends with John for six years. Yeah, but John has nothing to do with me and Jennifer's relationship. Yeah, it is her. But John doesn't like you. I know how doesn't like you. He doesn't even want you in their wedding. Well, that's Jennifer needs to be telling you that's not the me. That's stuff that was said. That's right, and it wasn't true, Ginger. Why? If John wouldn't like me if you're telling him this stuff about me that I don't even Susan, know. Susan, do you want to be friends with Jennifer again? Oh, yes, Ginger. Uh, Jennifer is my best friend and always will be. And then I... I have to see all of you. I go to work, I go to school, I have a second job. But you do want Jennifer back in oh, your life. Oh, yes. And I right. don't do anything for that. All right, next. The guy confronts his friend who he says has been telling people he's gay, an alcoholic, and a gold digger. Coming up next. <laughs> Yeah, I think most people are two-faced, at least to some extent. And being two-faced is not a real friend. It's part of human nature to uh, talk about people. It's kind of like a drug, almost. I think all two-faced people should just mind their own business and, hey, you it alone. someone they thought was their friend. Be Christopher. He says he's been friends with Jen for six years and just recently found out that she told friends of his that he's gay, a gold digger, and an alcoholic. He says they're pure lies and she picked the wrong people to tell because it got right back to him. What was it that she said? All right, check it out, Ricky. I went to high school in one town. I went to college in another. My friends from high school and college never met each other. This New Year's Eve, for the first time, I had a party, okay? And I invited all my friends, and it was all the first time we were all together. All your so-called friends. Well, exactly. So at the party, um, everything was going cool. Jen was there. We were hanging out. We had a blast together. Next day, four of my friends called me up and go, you know that girl from your high school that you introduced us to? She was telling everybody there that you're gay, that you're an alcoholic, and that you scam on all these chicks for money. And I was like, I, I thought it was a practical joke because her and I, we were in high school. We used to play pranks, prank phone calls, you know, write letters, sign other people's names. But, you know, this was beyond that. So I was just like tripping because I didn't know what her problem was and I didn't know what she had to gain from doing that. So why are you here today? I'm here to tell, ask her why she did it because I mean if, if she was going to get money out of it or get a man or get a job something like that I can understand her motivation. It still won't be right but I can at least understand it. I don't know what the hell she's getting by going up this way. All right you ready to confront her? Hell yes. All Bring right. Jen come on out. <laughs> You are a liar, and you just oh. need to stop, okay? I went to your little party with your little friends and your little hot college town of Pittsburgh, okay? All right, I didn't get along with many of them. We did, I didn't get along with many of the friends back in Pippa, all right? So I what's that got to do with it? Just wait, okay? Let me talk, all right? Now, I left the party early, all right? Number one, I did not say you were gay. I've been friends with three of your ex-girlfriends who I still talk to on a weekly basis, okay? Number two, you're not an alcoholic. You bitch at me for smoking, all right? You know, you, you so know. why would these four people come to me and say this? Because they never met each other before. In order for them to be lying, they would have to meet. Oh, you need to quit. You, you know, need to stop. Let me know. No, four, Ricky, four people that didn't have never Not met with your other. hands. What's Just that? with your okay, mouth. Sorry. Four people that had never met each other would have to get together and conspire to all call me and say that she's been saying this. All right, how, come, how come when I talked to you four days after the party, you didn't say anything about this? And then how come... Three weeks oh, ago, no, you, called you, called my mom. you called my mom three weeks ago, told her I was a drug addict. You're a liar. You're a liar. I don't even know your mom. Yeah, right. Oh, you need yeah. to you 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 I told you. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, you Jen, my mom. Jen, you seem like, there seems to be something deeper here. You seem very angry. I am very angry. Okay? Why? Why are you I so angry? Said, I never said that he was 
was gay. I never said that he was an alcoholic. I did, however, say that you owe me two thousand dollars. What? Because you don't owe me money. And I want my money back. do that here, right guys? Violence is never the answer. <laughs> All right, say one thing. Christopher, yes, you want to say one thing? All right, I got one thing to say. This $2,000 is a bunch of bull. If she can fax your show, send your show, a canceled check, Chris. credit card statement, Chris. loan papers. Chris. Uh, hey, she don't got, that is a bunch of bull. I've never borrowed money. She called me up on Christmas Eve because she was in jail for assaulting a police officer, asking me at Western Union her $300. Because she, she tried to beat up on the uh, pizza officer. You owe me two thousand dollars. No, I don't. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Where is this two thousand dollars again? When? Okay. When? When did I borrow it, babe? When? Well, if you shut your mouth for a second, okay. I'll tell you. Yeah. All right, we're gonna tell you. We want to know. Wait. Okay. He borrowed this money from me right after he graduated from high school. He graduated in '91. I graduated in '92. Okay. He needed more money for school than what his parents could give him. That so I lent that money to you out of the goodness of my heart oh. because we were good friends. Okay. Can you guys be friends again? Ricky, I'll tell you one thing. She's the kind of person that you want to hang out with, you want to party with. But to confide in her, to trust her, forget it. Okay. What about next up? Two new roommates face off. He says his friend lied and stabbed him in the back by telling his girlfriend he was sleeping with someone else. Who's telling the truth? Find out next. the worst relationship in the world? If you are a couple who are at each other's throats constantly, you could be a guest. Call 1-800-GO-RICKY or 212-889-7465. Well, we just went through some really bad trouble with some very two-faced friends. I slipped on the ice and knocked the disc out of my back. They treated us before I got hurt like we were the greatest gifts on earth. They went and told people in our neighborhood and their family members and all these other people that I faked the whole thing. Don't turn your back when somebody gets hurt. And don't go behind their back and say that you think they're faking an injury. Because that's cold. That's wrong. someone is your friend and finding out they've been dogging you behind your back the whole time. That's what we're talking about today. Be from. He says his roommate Patrick has been telling everyone that he's a thief and a liar. But he says the ultimate backstab just happened a few days ago when Patrick told his girlfriend that he was sleeping with someone else. Brom says Patrick is a liar and he's here to confront him. Really? Yes, exactly. See, this is how it all is. Pat and I have been friends really tight for a couple of years right now. And... He's living at my house right now, and since he's moved in, he's done nothing but talk mad amounts of crap to my friends and his friends, too. You're sick of it. I'm extremely sick of it. I'm really pissed off at him. Like, for instance, a couple of months ago, uh, a friend of mine got money stolen from his house, and Pat told him that I probably did it. But see, what Pat didn't know, that I was with that kid the night that it was stolen. Huh. And so that doesn't sound like a friend home. to me. No, it's not a friend. Are you ready to confront him? I'm totally ready to confront All right, Bron, come on out. <laughs> Let me just say, before you say anything, gentlemen, keep your hands to yourself and stay in your seat. All right, what do you want to say to him, Bron? I want to know why. You lied to my girlfriend, told her that I slept around, which you know is BS. I want to know why. You blame me for stealing money. You know I didn't do it. Just tell me why. What's your motive? Well, Brom, Ricky. Um, <laughs> first of all, Brom did sleep with another girl. Who? I know that other girl. Who? I can't no, say her name. Yeah, you, exactly. you can't say her name. She's I'm not here today. Her but how do you know? Were you in the room? Do I know how distraught this girl is? She went to the church and found herself a priest. God's eyes to it. <laughs> the 
Yeah. Ask anybody. I'm telling you. Do you do you recall having an intimate moment with a girl other no. than your girlfriend? Hell no. I love this girl. Well, I did, but two weeks ago. I don't even know why she believed you. Just because you're friends with her? So wait a minute, she broke up with you because of what Patrick exactly. said? Thank you. Y'all don't even know about him, though. He's a liar. Stay I'm on. telling him about me. Wait, but he says you're the liar, Patrick. Exactly. Well, he's a liar, too. Oh, I'm a liar, too. <laughs> what am I lying about? You lie about everything, man. Yeah. Oh, no, not you again. Not, I'm not having you insult anybody on my stage. Sorry. Feel free to blow yes, What do you want to say? Yeah. Um, I would like to say uh, for the young ladies and the uh, uh, lady and the gentleman and the two friends on the end, uh, from elementary through high school, wear the same sneakers, same cap, dance the same, got steps alike. Friendship is wonderful. When you graduate high school and you enter into the adult world, let friends become associates. There's no such thing as friends when it comes down to taking a mate between men and women. Yes, ma'am. Great thing, I'd like to address Garcelle. I, I have something to say. Um, when you go to school together when you're younger, you play in each other's houses, you do all that stuff, no woman has any business coming to any woman's door every morning at 8 o'clock in the morning. Garcelle should get a life. Excuse me. And then to Jennifer. Jennifer looks so, she looks like a very nice person. Her persona looks like she's a gentle person. And is that Susan in the middle? Good memory, man. Hey, Susan seems a bit del delusion. She's like, she likes to create a, an illusion because if she really loved Jennifer and she would do anything for her, she wouldn't have a problem returning in her phone calls. Friends return calls. But I don't live in my parents anymore to get her phone. Right? Okay, next. He confided in his friend that he had slept with his cousin's boyfriend, and his friend went ahead and told his cousin. He said his friend stabbed him in the back, and he wants to know why. All coming up next. He says Jamie promised he wouldn't say a word and then went ahead and told his cousin. He says he knows what he did was wrong, but can't believe that Jamie would sell him out that way. Really? Really. So how do you know that he told the cousin? My cousin called me and she, um, she asked, first of all, she asked me, why did I do it? And she said, before I lie, I asked Jamie and I asked it, I asked her boyfriend. So, um, so I, I couldn't deny it then, so I said, well, this is something that happened, so she hung up the phone. So then when I called her back, you know, to, you know, explain everything, she hung it up again. And so, like, two weeks later, I find out that, no, a week later, I found out that she was still talking to um, her boyfriend. And I don't, I, I didn't know the reason why she was mad at me and not him when he was just as much as wrong as I was. And I told, I told Jamie that... So Jamie was the only person you told about He was the only this? person I told. And, and you want to know why he told? Yeah, what was the reason for doing it? I want to know why, too. Jamie, come on out here. <laughs> Jamie, why are you laughing? Your friend Mike is mad. Yeah. <laughs> so did you, in fact, tell this cousin? Yes, I did. Why'd you do that? Because he went with my mother and I was gay. He lying. Look, his, his mother knew he was gay. Look at him. He was really, he was gay. <laughs> That's his excuse. That's his excuse. That's the excuse he's using. Told, I mean, a friend of mine told me that the reason why he, because he told lies about a lot of people, but I never thought he would do it to me. He told me that the reason why he did it, because he wanted me. And he know he cannot have me. He cannot have me. I mean, regardless of what he said to your mother, 
other. I mean, if he did, if he did after you your other, that's a bad thing. But, but do, but do two wrongs make a right? No, I don't. I mean, shouldn't your loyalty be to your friends? Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I have something to say for. I forgot their name. Roman Patrick. Okay. But whatever go on but inside the house, it should stay in the house. Like, you had no business going and telling his girlfriend anything. Same word. But she's my friend. Regardless if she's your friend or not, it happened within the house. It should stay in the house. Well, he ain't gonna be my friend no more? You think he's gonna be my friend? You're out. Yes, sir. How you doing? Um, I happen to know Brom, and uh, I would say at my house when he comes around, like, hide the fish and hide all the, the anything. I don't, I don't trust him as far as I can throw him, and so... So wait, you're saying saying that, that Rom is the backstabbing friend? I'm saying they're, they're, you know, I'm not saying that much, I'm not, I'm not accusing, but... You are, you're standing up and saying something. Yeah, so say what you got to say. Okay. Just, I don't want to go out. What do you have to say? It's bad as the show, it's just that they're both bad, you know, it's just like, you know, I... You're saying that they deserve each other? Yes, yeah. Okay. We what? Yes, ma'am. Um, Susan is my sister, and she's also my best friend, and she confines me in everything. And um, she's never called Jennifer in front of me or anything. She even got Jennifer a job while we work at Amstad, so. I mean, Susan's just a great girl. You think Ginger's the one who's in the wrong? Coming up next, our audience will vote and tell our guests if they should kick their friends to the curb or give them a second chance. We'll be right back. two-faced backstabbers. Now it's time for our should they kick them to the curb vote. We're going to let our fabulous audience vote and tell our guests if they should keep their friends or tell their friend to bounce. Okay, audience, you guys ready? Don't let me down. Don't let me down. We're going to start with Darcel. Should Angela keep her? All right. How many of you she should tell, think that Angela should tell her to bounce? You're making me proud. Okay, moving on to Susan. Now we gotta say, Susan and Ginger have not. Susan and, and Jennifer have not stopped talking since Ginger left. Have you noticed that? Yeah. All right, I'm hearing that. Can I say something? Yes. I don't know what's going on. I don't know who said what, and I don't care anymore. It's not worth losing any friendships over. Yeah. All right. Well, here. To, to Christopher and Jen. Okay. I'm going to do them in the same order. How many of you think that Christopher should keep her? Not one person. All right. How many of you think that she, he should tell Jen to bounce? Okay. Moving on to Brom and Patrick. How many of you think that Brom should keep Patrick as his friend? Okay. How many of you think he should tell him to bounce? Okay. And finally, we have Mike and Jamie. How many of you think that Mike should keep him as a friend? And how many... How many okay. And how many of you think that he should tell him to bounce? Well, there you have it. All right. Yes. Ma'am, you want to say something. Stand up. You right, he do want you, but don't give him nothing. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. 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 I just want to say in general, it's really a shame that you have to have a friend and somebody has to stab you in the back. It's a real shame in today's society. Okay. What was that? I missed that. Oh. Yes, yes, ma'am. I think the only people... All right. Conversation's over here, sir. Yes, I think the only people that should stay friends are those two over there. Everybody else got to go. I think they are friends. All right. We'll be right back after this. Trust, and you can't be trusted.
exhausted, you don't deserve to have friends. So before you do anything that might jeopardize a friendship, consider how lonely it can be without any friends at all. I'd like to thank all of my guests for being here today, and thank you for watching. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.